Afghanistan is known as the graveyard of empires. In the past century and a half, Afghan fighters have seen off invasions by the British Empire, the Soviet Union, and today, despite the efforts of four US presidents, there's very little sign of a final American victory on the horizon. From the Cold War to the War on Terror, this is a look at how four presidents have approached one of the most complex conflict zones the US has ever entered into. Since 2001, the US war in Afghanistan has cost $840 billion, thousands of American lives, and it's killed tens of thousands of Afghan civilians. But US involvement in Afghanistan started decades before. In 1979, the Soviet Union, locked in the Cold War with the US, invaded Afghanistan. After enduring a Soviet-backed defeat in Vietnam, the US decided to secretly arm and fund the Afghan militias fighting the Soviets, the Mujahideen. President Reagan championed the program. In 1988, the Soviets began pulling out of Afghanistan. Victory for the US. After nearly nine long years of war, the courage and determination of the Afghan people and the Afghan freedom fighters have held sway. And today, an end to the occupation is in sight. With the Soviets finally out in 1989, US interest in Afghanistan waned and the country was soon torn between a weak communist government and a collection of warlords. In this maelstrom, the US left behind a well-armed, motivated network of international jihadists. Among them was this man, Osama bin Laden. After years of civil war, the Taliban, allied with Al-Qaeda, took over Afghanistan. Then on 9-11, Al-Qaeda attacked the US. President Bush gave the Taliban an ultimatum. Close immediately and permanently every terrorist training camp in Afghanistan and hand over every terrorist. Their refusal sparked a NATO-led war to hunt down the Al-Qaeda leaders behind the 9-11 attacks. On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. Within weeks, they've taken over the country. But although the invasion routed the Taliban in two months, it soon became clear that the war wasn't over. US forces faced improvised bombs, mountain assaults, and unrelenting attacks on their outposts spread across the country. In 2009, President Obama ordered a surge of US troops. A wave of 30,000 soldiers and Marines saturated Afghanistan's hotspots, seizing and holding ground in ways that had previously been impossible. As with the surge in Iraq, these forces will be in place for a limited time to provide space for the Afghans to build their capacity and secure their own future. While the US did claim some success, the surge was far short of an all-out victory and had a strict timeline. Critics say Obama's forced timeline for withdrawal handicapped the surge's effectiveness. Ten years after the war in Afghanistan started, the US achieved one of its major goals in the so-called War on Terror. US Navy SEALs stormed bin Laden's home in a Pakistani military town and killed him. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. Trump took a different stance on Afghanistan than Obama. Following the post-surge troop withdrawal, Trump increased the US military's involvement. Along with their heroic Afghan partners, our military is no longer undermined by artificial timelines, and we no longer tell our enemies our plans. Under the Trump White House, the U.S. ramped up airstrikes on Afghanistan, including launching the U.S.'s largest non-nuclear bomb against ISIS fighters. But Taliban forces still have military clout, briefly overrunning two cities in 2018 and inflicting a worrying toll of casualties on the Afghan security forces and civilians. After 17 years of conflict in Afghanistan, the Taliban control or contest between 60 to 70 percent of the country. The U.S. has finally turned to trying to negotiate a political end to the war with the Taliban. Although many fear an American pullout, will see the Taliban return to power. After four presidents and four strategies, peace is still an elusive horizon in Afghanistan.